Okay, folks, so we had a tropical storm come through, and uh, we've had everything covered up really well here. But anyway, uh, except for the back of the front, but, which is not an issue because it's dry. So uh, we started putting things back together on the frame. Uh, really waiting on this tropical storm to get through. And uh, so we can start trying to get engine transmission, everything set up on the frame. I'm going to let uh, Noah's dad and I think his grandpa is going to stop by. I'm going to let them work on the body, continue on the body work while I try to get everything finished up on this. Uh, and, you know, we've boxed the frame and we've got everything welded up and braced and, I mean, it's good and solid. Uh, you know, this is not show quality by any means. This paint is just uh, actually straight enamel international tractor paint is what this is. And uh, we're not, you know, we're, we're still on a, a light budget. We're not spending a lot of money on this. So. Anyway, let me, uh, I'll go ahead and get the uh, tarp off because the rain's gone. We're just waiting on the waiting on everything to dry out a little bit okay and the only thing we body worked at all was these two frame rails just to try to straighten them out some you know make them look a little bit better but everything else we just sprayed and uh seems like you know with this enamel if when you're painting a tractor if you ever restored a an old farm mall or or any of them john deere whatever uh the more paint you put on the better it's going to look i mean that's just the way that that stuff works and uh it covers pretty good but you just got to keep building it up so we've got some of our new mounts on we've got the bell housing mounts back stuck back in uh, like i said we still got a lot a little stuff to do now the, the other good thing about this stuff is you can uh you can buy this in a spray can so if there's any issues with like this bracket for the brakes i haven't completed it yet uh, and i didn't want to complete it yet until i had some time to think about how i wanted to do it so I just said go ahead and do it and we can grind and fix what we need and then just touch up with uh, with the uh, aerosol can of the uh, you know like I said the international red and uh, still working on these daggone adapters to the for the brakes I've got to get them on and done and uh, we'll get that soon now we didn't you know like I said we didn't take uh, this is not show quality so we didn't take as much time as what we could have on cleaning welds and you know smoothing the frame and grinding and, and all that stuff we're just putting something together and putting junk together so i'm not real worried about it it's gonna look good either way and uh you know most all this won't be seen anyway it's gonna be up under so i think i will get it trying to get these backing plates on and uh we will go from there All right, this yeah. is Ed. This is uh, Noah's grandpa. Yeah, it's pretty bad when a man has to watch YouTube to see his grandson now and then. All right, Noah. So I come out here to help today, and the damn boy ain't here. <laughs> I'm going to have to put him on the, the no want list. Watch your language. We're going to get demonetized. I said no want. <laughs> uh, I need Eddie Jones back over. That's the world famous Broadway Dave. I World can't fun. see my grandson because he's been working on airplane motors in uh, Georgia. Well, you know how to get to Georgia? No, I don't have an airplane. It's south. We can drive there. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. No show Shane showed. I'm here. I showed. Uh, Scott, he's been here no, for Shane, days. No show Shane. Yeah. No, show <laughs> <laughs> no show for anything. He ain't even really here right now. He's been giving out my lay parts to show up. Yeah. Okay, folks, uh, working away, about time to stop, I guess, it's late in the evening. Uh, basically, have got everything figured out on our brakes, and just got to do a little more cleanup and put it all together and be done. Uh, we've got our friction shocks, which are right here. And these are just a, just a quick throw-together set that's got uh, just wear pads for friction. And all you're trying to do is just slow down the rebound. That's all them are for. Uh, I do have the original dog bone links, which originally hooked right here. So we'll get that figured out and get them mounted. Okay, we got to put a pilot bushing in 
the right one or you know make one and let me see wait on valve cover gaskets we went in and pulled the valve covers off and put just sit these on there the chrome ones still got them in the plastic but uh, engine looks nice inside it's not you know it, it's, it's pretty clean uh, got our oil filter adapter on I know a lot of people ask about that uh, you know, we got it'll clear. We'll have clearance and everything to change that. No problem. Uh, everything else is pretty much done on the engine. Just bolting stuff on, cleaning stuff up, and body-wise, everything's coming right along. I mean, it's really close. Uh, probably more to do on this quarter here than any of the others, but it's getting there and it's pretty defined. Uh, this side here. And I want everybody to see the, hopefully be able to see the body line of what, hmm, what ended up. This ain't gonna work too good here. Maybe we can see it. Get down a little bit here. Yeah, well, let me do something with the lights here. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Here is our new body line. It's skinny, comes out a little bit wide, but it's close enough. You know, it's a little bit more work to do on it, but it's close enough that it lines up all right. And it looks really good going all the way back. Body's going to be good and straight when it's done. Door's good and straight. Uh, everything's going to work out really well on the body. Uh, the other door, they actually worked with the line, so it's going to have a single line like this side instead of the double line. I think it's going to be just a little bit bigger, but it was the quick and easy way to do it and make it run into the other body line. So when we're done, you know, I, it would be really hard for anybody to notice that there are two different doors. So that's worked out really well. And uh, this is, like I said, this is the, the original crease that was in the Buick. Uh, there's the original piece in the Buick where the, the hood trim went. And I am going to run a little piece of the stainless there. And, you know, everything else is, like I said, coming along. Uh, all the little stuff to do. But the body is looking good. That was looking good. It's just dark. Didn't get it in a. Should have done the video before it got dark. It's Sunday, and I am going in the morning to buy, to pick up a car that I'm buying, and I'll show you it tomorrow. And tomorrow night is the cruise in, so we'll be there. Okay, so we're getting close, really close. And the only thing is, is I have not made my trunk lid yet. I've got to jump on that here real soon. But it won't be until I get the transmission and engine mounted in the frame. We'll get the front wheels on it. That, that's going to be quick and easy because we've got our brakes adapted and everything. So it should work out really well. Get our frame all dusty, but it'll be all right. Okay, so it's kind of funny. You know, we had uh, Noah, Noah's dad, and Noah's grandpa. All three have worked on this car, so... Uh, all three generations have, you know, working on the same car, and uh, Noah couldn't make it today. I know his grandpa was hoping he would make it, and uh, I think he'll be back. Uh, his grand grandpa will be back either tomorrow or Tuesday, and Noah will be here then. So, uh, you know, he was looking forward to coming up here and getting to work with him. Uh, he's proud of Noah, and he he gets to watch him on uh, video, and uh, I guess you know like everyone else anyway so hopefully it won't be too long before we get this body on I mean I, I don't see a problem I'm not gonna set any more deadlines for for the time being but I don't see any problem on having this one ready for the uh, the next cruise in uh, you know I don't I don't think it would be a problem but uh, we'll see how it goes we're not gonna rush anything and uh, we you know definitely want it to be right and look good Hopefully we'll be putting some paint on soon. So I appreciate everybody that's come and helped. Uh, Shane uh, came today. Scott was here all day. Uh, uh, Big Ed, which is Noah's grandpa. Uh, Broadway Dave, which is a, a friend of ours from long back, uh, body man. And uh, uh, let me see, Eddie Jones, which is Noah's dad, was here. So and we had you know people stop in and stop by in and out all day and uh, you know sort of a community thing you know <laughs> I guess doing this and they 
they just like stopping by. Some people just come to out a visit, and some people come by and want to work, and and uh, you know I, I appreciate all of them, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing knocked out pretty quick. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to pick up a car, and I will do a video on it. I'm going to buy another one, like I need another one, but buying one anyway. Uh, I think it's a, a decent investment, so uh, I'll get you a video out on it tomorrow sometime. And cruise ends tomorrow night, six to nine at uh, I Love New York Pizza. Good chance to come out, and come by. We always have a good time. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a, a good turnout. We'll see how it goes. But all right, appreciate everybody watching. And until next time, bye.